The sports betting space is flooded with tipsters, consultants, pro bettors. Everyone is giving their advice. Have you ever heard someone say the public is all over this team, so we're going to bet the opposite? Many people think fading the public is a winning strategy, but the truth is you can never truly fade the public and align yourself with the sports books and what they need. Let's look at an example to show you what I mean. Uh, New York getting 66% of the bets. Philly getting 34% of the bets. Another game, Cincy, 68% of the bets. Buffalo, 32% of the bets. Everyone is betting New York and Cincy. They're the public side. So the thought is, I'm going to bet Philly and Buffalo, and this will put me on the side the sportsbooks need because the sportsbooks win more than they lose, right? There's a few flaws with this logic. First is the juice or the vig. If you fade the public and bet Philly and Buffalo and go one and one, you lose $10. The sportsbooks make $10. You can't successfully fade the public and win long term laying minus 110 or $11 to win 10. The sportsbooks can because they're booking bets at plus 110. Probably more importantly is all these sites that report their betting splits or betting percentages uh, are only reporting the bets made at one sportsbook. What people are betting at one sportsbook is hardly enough to determine what team the public is on or which they're not on. Uh, sportsbooks give out this info because they know it doesn't matter and will only lead bettors to make bets based on information that doesn't matter. This is why fading the public is a flawed betting strategy. Stay tuned because I have a couple more strategies that I keep seeing a lot of bettors talk about and they just don't make sense or they hold no value. Until next time, good luck with your bets.